Hi, I'm Kenny Webb and I'm going to walk you through the installation of a Frameworks Slim Slider interior office front. The first step is to ensure you have a square opening and that the walls are level and plumb. For this example, we are installing a demountable Slim Slider unit, so setting channels are required at the perimeter vertical conditions. Be sure to have the correct channel mounted in the proper direction. The channel at the door side of the opening will have two different lengths on the return legs of the component. The shorter leg provides clearance for the receiver channel of the sliding door jam that attaches to it. The channel that will receive the glass jam component has equal sized return legs. The setting channels must be installed plumb and level. Fasten the setting channels using drywall screws at 18 inches on center. Now that the setting channels are secure, we are ready to install the outside vertical jams. The trim retainer at the top of the jams have been factory notched so that the corner clips can join the sliding door head track. Place the glass jam over the setting channel so that the glazing pocket is nearest the corridor. Secure with half inch tech screws through each face of the frame at 18 inches on center. Follow the same method to attach the sliding door jam. The receiver channel in the door jam should be nearest the office. Be sure to secure the tech screws in this face so that they do not protrude into the receiver channel. Now raise the sliding door track into place between the vertical jams. Secure the angle clips to join the corner conditions on the front and back at both ends of the header using half inch tech screws. These clips will fit in between the trim retainer of the aluminum extrusions and will help to square the head condition. Once the clips are attached, fasten the track to solid framing above. The sliding door track has two channels. Secure drywall screws in both of these channels at 12 inches on center. Now insert the glass pocket header above the door opening area only. For this piece to fit, two screws will need to be removed from the corner clip previously installed. The glazing channel is not centered in the glass pocket component. Be sure the wide side is facing the corridor. Once in place, secure with tech screws, including the two removed from the corner clip. A false snap-in piece installs in the glass pocket of this component to provide a flush header. Next, install the slider glass base clip at the base of the vertical jam. This clip should rest on the floor and be secured with two half-inch tech screws into the glazing channel with the longer leg vertical and the shorter leg horizontal extending into the opening. One end of the base setting channel has been machined down at the factory so that it fits into the vertical mullion. This portion of the channel should be installed nearest the door opening. Proper alignment of the base setting channel is imperative for proper operation of the sliding door. Utilize the glass base component to ensure the setting channel aligns properly with the glazing pocket in the vertical glass jam. Use of the header trim and or a chalk line will help to keep the base setting channel square and in proper location in relation to the sliding door jam. Once the proper location is ensured, anchor the channel to the floor. Anchoring methods may vary based on existing and future conditions of the area. For this application, we have drilled into the concrete slab and are securing with masonry screws. The vertical mullion is installed next beginning with the slider glass pocket receiver which throats over the base setting channel 2 and 3 eighths of an inch, where it was machined down. Secure the slider glass pocket receiver to the base setting channel with one tech screw on the outside of the office only. Do not attach on the inside of the opening as this will conflict with the installation of the sliding door guide. Now insert the glass pocket into the slider glass pocket receiver. This component should sit on top of the base setting channel and extend 2 inches into the sliding door track. Attach these two components with half inch tech screws at 12 inches on center. Verify the vertical mullion is level, then anchor to the head condition with two half inch tech screws through the face of the sliding door track into the glass pocket. Prior to installing the glass pocket header at the side light portion of the frame, remove the top two screws in the corner clip at the outside of the opening. Insert the glass pocket into the sliding door track and secure with half inch tech screws. Be sure to align the glazing channel with the vertical components. Replace the screws in the angle clip. Place the glass base on top of the base setting channel so that the glass stop side faces away from the office. 
fasteners are not required to secure the glass base to the setting channel. However, you do need to fasten the glass base to the glass base clip with one half inch tech screw down through the top of the glass base nearest the outside vertical jam. Install the trim by hooking the outermost retainer clip. Then secure the trim with force of a rubber mallet. A block can be used to spread the force and safeguard against damages. Install all trim except for the outside base trim, which attaches to the glass stop, and the inside header trim, which has access to the sliding door hardware. Next, install the sliding door guide through the face of the trim at the vertical mullion. This should sit on the floor and be centered on the vertical mullion. Secure with two one and a quarter inch tech screws. To hang the door, lift so that the track and the bottom door rail fits on top of the door guide. Then plumb the door and attach the sliding door hardware. The rollers are installed in the track at the factory. The mounting plates are fixed to the door top rail at the factory. To attach, engage the two components and slide the lever on the mounting plate to lock. Using a flathead screwdriver is encouraged due to the tight space between the track and the top of the door. The rollers allow you to raise or lower the door slightly with a turn of a wrench. To install the glass at the side line, first place glazing setting blocks on top of the glass base at each corner of glass panel locations. If a butt glaze condition exists, begin with the panel nearest the outside glass jam. Slide the top of glass into header and place the bottom onto glazing blocks. Then slide the glass as far into the glass jam as possible. This will maximize the space to place the second glass panel. Follow the same step with the next panel and then center both glass panels. There must be a 5 16 inch glass bite at all four sides of the side light for the vinyl gaskets to fit properly. Once the glass is in place, install the glass stop. Hook the bottom leg nearest the glass, then roll the outside of the stop down flush with the glass base. Next, install the glazing vinyl. This works best if installed on both sides of the glass simultaneously. Start at one corner and press into place as you make your way across the opening. Soapy water and a rolling tool will ease the vinyl installation. Each end of the vinyl should be cut at a 45 degree miter for a clean finish. Now that the glass and glazing vinyl is installed, install the outside base trim and inside header trim to finish the opening. So now we have a finished installed Frameworks Slim Slider unit.